Hello everyone, it is Danny and welcome to this update's video. I really hope that you're doing great this morning and we're going to be talking about what is going on across the Atlantic Basin with focus being on the Caribbean but we'll also be taking a jog further to the other side of the world where there are a couple of active cyclones. And so uh, if you have been watching my videos through the week, you may remember when I was covering Belal which affected the islands of La Reunion as well as Mauritius. And so a recurring question I got is whether it is normal for there to be active cyclones at this time of year. Now, the answer to that question is yes. I'm usually covering what is happening over in the Atlantic Basin, even the Eastern Pacific as well, but it is not uncommon for there to be active cyclones elsewhere, especially uh, now that we're in winter in the Northern Hemisphere, the Southern Hemisphere is experienced in summer, so conditions would be conducive within some areas to allow development to happen. Uh, the upper level winds could be conducive and there may be a lot of moisture as well as those very warm uh, ocean surface waters. So yes, the Atlantic hurricane season is quiet now as well as the Eastern Pacific and those commence on June 1st and May 15th respectively. But elsewhere in the world, there is a lot going on. So we'll be looking at that later down in this video. But first things first, we're talking about the Atlantic. Here we're looking at the infrared satellite and we're not seeing much happening. Just that frontal system right now still within the vicinity of, of the Gulf stretching out into the Atlantic. And... There is another frontal system near the African coast right there. And uh, there is also some convection being produced along the intertropical convergence zone. Now, that is where the trade winds of the north and south meet, sometimes with a lot of atmospheric instability uh, and moisture, we see this kind of activity there. So that is what is going on out into the Atlantic. As for the Caribbean, of course, there are uh, some showers within the region right now. So that's been affecting mostly the southeastern islands, the windward islands, uh, St. Lucia, even Grenada, the Grenadines as well. Maybe even at times Barbados may experience some stray showers, but that's not very widespread right now. But there is some more moisture heading in this morning. So there's likely going to be that continuous rainfall activity or even some intermittent showers, which may be a bit on the moderate or even the heavy side at times so that is what is expected through today and uh, even elsewhere there could be some showers moving by today as i speak let's go on to that rainfall forecast map here it is and we can see this dark green shade and even some yellows as well for parts of saint vincent the grenadines and even near saint lucia but uh, mostly these dark green shadings for much of the windward islands much not expected for trinidad and tobago yes some showers may move by but uh right now in the caribbean it is going to be the windward islands with that uh, somewhat higher chance of rainfall heading further up to the leeward islands now so chas and guilla uh antigua barbuda as well and even toward the virgin islands puerto rico and some spots in the dominican republic there could be some showers moving by at times but for many other areas, it's likely to be pretty dry today, maybe quite warm as well. ABC Island is not expected to experience much in terms of a rainfall, similar store for Haiti and uh, parts of the Bahamas and the Turks and Caicos Islands as well. For sections of Jamaica, some showers are possible for sure. But then as we head over toward uh, the Central American countries for some areas, we're seeing that it's quite colorful. So there may be some decent showers as we head through today. The rainfall chance is definitely more prevalent over there. Similar stuff for parts of the Florida Peninsula. We can see these yellow shadings, even some reds as well. Maybe up to an inch of rainfall or so as we head through today. Again, that front is still within the area. So with that uh, additional rainfall, but things get a bit drier for Cuba and the Cayman Islands as well. Down to Northern South America, uh, the southern part of Colombia, even Venezuela in spots in Guyana, Suriname and French Guiana may experience some heavy rainfall today. As it relates to the winds, it remains quite windy. This is going to be the story through the rest of the week. It's quite windy right now across many of the Caribbean islands, especially the ABC islands, the Leeward and Windward islands as well. And with that, those seas are quite rough and very unsettled out there so not the most ideal time for uh, some marine activities winds also kicking up for the southern bahamas the cayman islands as well headed over to our san andreas and providencia 
So that is what is happening, guys, as uh, as relates to those general weather conditions right now. And as we're going to be heading throughout today. Now, as I said, we'll be taking a jog further to the east. And uh, let's see what's happening. So here we're looking at the satellite imagery over there. And that is Belal. And those are the two islands. We can't really see Laura Yonan, the track of it, a portion of it. But there's Mauritius right there. So we can see that it's moved through. It had winds over 100 miles per hour. Uh, at the time when it was passing by so it brought a lot of heavy rainfall and flooding which i talked about and unfortunately that death toll is four individuals so four lives were taken amid the conditions induced by Bilal. but now it is weakening and it will eventually dissipate but look at all that moisture to the north of the island so another area of low pressure may form next week and eventually another cyclone may be within the area and models are kind of green on that right now so this is for today, Thursday, the 18th of January. And by the way, that low pressure system that we're seeing uh, over there, that is actually Angrex. So that's another uh, system that formed and it is not expected to impact anyone, at least over the course of the next couple of days. It's just going to be loitering in the Indian Ocean. But uh, that is Bilal. And as we're going to be heading into next week, this is for Monday. As I said, there's that area of moisture. Uh, there could be another system forming close to the islands, uh, close to Mauritius right there. So there we see that 981 millibar. So an intensifying system. And by Wednesday, GFS is forecasting that it is going to get even stronger. We see a pressure of 955 millibars. In the Atlantic Basin, that would be equivalent to a major hurricane, which is basically Category 3 or higher on the Sapphire Simpson scale. So uh, that is pretty intense, but the model is keeping it offshore uh, of the islands. And as we head towards Euro going to Wednesday, you are not expecting that much intensification as GFS is. So we're seeing that uh, these black lines, which are called isobars, they're not very tightly packed, nor is that pressure very low. So a lower pressure means that there is intensification taking place and we're not really seeing that euro is showing anything as impressive compared to gfs so uh, you're a bit on the conservative side meanwhile gfs is being a little bit uh bullish with the expectation of that next low pressure area but of course guys i'll be keeping you posted on all that is happening the good news both of these models are taking whatever forms as of now offshore the islands but it's still worth watching it's still worth paying attention to because it may be too close for comfort so we'll keep you guys posted on what is happening any significant changes over the course of the next couple of days so that is pretty much it for this update video that is what i wanted to share with you and i really hope that you found it to be quite informative however if you have any questions please leave them in the comments i'll respond when i get the chance to do so and remember to always be weather wise